hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a cubed divided by 3 a is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method we move this 3a from left hand side to the right hand side and you see here this 3a is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this 3 and it will be written as 3 times of 3a and uh, now here in the next step uh, you see that when we multiply to same uh, constant term so it will be written as 3 times 3 becomes here uh, a cubed equals to 9a okay 3 times 3 becomes here 9a and uh, now here further in the next step uh, we uh, move this 9a from the right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as a cubed minus 9a and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these two terms involve a so that we take common a from here and when we take common a from here we get a square minus from here we get 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a equals to 0 and the second case is we write a square minus 9 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and here we write a square minus 9 as uh, 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have uh, x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y. So according to this rule of exponents, now sorry, according to this algebraic formula, we write our above equation as, uh, so first you have x minus y, here our x is a and y is 3 into x plus y. So again our x is a and y is 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write a minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write a plus 3 is equals to 0 so from here we get the value of a is equals to 3 and from here we get the value of a is equals to minus 3 so we get uh, these there are three roots of the given equation the first root is a equals to 0 second root is a is equals to plus 3 and the third root is a is equals to minus 3 and now here we need to verify that is uh, all of these three roots are solution or extraneous root now, so for verification of these roots we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is a cubed divided by 3a is equals to 3 and here in this side we will be verify a is equals to plus 3 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to minus 3 so here uh, First, we substitute uh, this value of a into the left hand side and it will be written as when you put it here, it will become 3 cubed divided by 3 times of 3 is equals to 3 or not. This is the our claim and in this side, when you put it here, it will become minus 3 cubed divided by 3 times of minus 3 and here again we check that is this equals to 3 or not so that uh, we need to simplify both of these two cases and here you see that this is 3 cubed and 3 cubed becomes here 27 divided by 3 times of 3 becomes here 9 is equals to 3 and now you see here this is uh, 9 times 3 becomes 27 and here you clearly see that 3 is equals to 3 this means that both of the sides are equal which means that value of a is equals to plus 3 is satisfied our given question statement and now we move towards our second case so this is the our second case so here you see that minus 3 cubed becomes minus 27 and it is divided by 3 times of 3 becomes minus 9 
is equals to 3 or not so this negative term are cancelled out by each other and we see that 9 times 3 becomes 27 and here you again see that 3 is equals to 3 it means that both of the values of plus 3 and minus 3 are satisfied over given question statement so these two values are solution and now here uh, we verify our third value and our third value is a is equals to 0 so we substitute a equals to 0 uh, into the left hand side of the given question statement and it will be written as 0 cubed divided by 3 multiplied by 0 is equals to 3 and here uh, we need to uh, simplify the terms and 0 cubed becomes 0 and 3 times 0 is also becomes 0 is equals to 3 or not so here you see that uh, 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal uh, so this means that the value of a is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy our given question statement and we have the solution set of this question is uh, because uh, there are two values which is satisfied over given question statement so these are the solution set and we have a is equals to plus minus 3 so this is the solution set of uh, the given question and now here we again solve this problem uh, for second method so in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a cubed divided by 3 times of a is equals to 3 so here our second method be the a uh, very quickest method and here uh, we quickly get uh, the roots of a given equation okay so here first you see that uh, this a and this a cube are cancelled out by each other and here in the numerator term we get only a square divided by 3 is equals to 3 and uh, further here in the next step you see uh, in the left hand side is 3 is divided by here and when we move it into the right hand side uh, it is multiplied by this 3 and uh, we obtain here in the left hand side we get a square equals to 3 multiplied by 3 becomes here 9 and here our target is to get the values of a so for this we need to take square root on both of the sides and you see here these two and square root are cancelled out by each other and we get a is equals to here you see that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will be right here plus minus sign on any one of the side and again you see that the square root of 9 becomes here 3 so it means that in the second method we get these are the two roots of the given equation but in the first method we already verified that these two roots are satisfied over given question statement now so that we have the solution set of this question is a is equals to plus minus 3 so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos